Hey guys, Ellie here. Today I am outside at about, what is it, 7 a.m. you think? 6.45, 7 a.m. It is incredibly early. I am here with my beautiful fiance right here and I am never out here. It's all right, those geese are loud. Like in person they're loud, but I bet the audience can barely hear them. I bet oh, you. No, they're like echoing the camera, them. well, because I've noticed when I record clips and the geese are talking in the background, the, the phone doesn't pick it up really good, thankfully. And so it feels loud Nate to us. Awake. Huh? Nate is awake. Nate's awake. <laughs> no, it's about 7 a.m. right now, like I was saying, and I'm never awake at this time. Mm -hmm. You can probably tell, even from just watching my video, like the actual screen, that the color, just when I look around, the scenery is like a kind of a light bluish hue, maybe kind of pinkish hue if you look in this direction over here. But you can tell it's kind of more of a cool colored type of hue or shade whatever you want to call it most of my videos because i record them between like 4 and 7 p.m in the afternoon are like more of a bright yellowish hue so that right there should be one indicator i'll have my occasional nighttime video of course like when we killed the snake and whatnot like pitch black but this right here is just this here is just a general color that <laughs> this right here is a general color that you won't see too often in my videos if y'all can tell but anyways enough of that nonsense the reason why I'm awake at this time is probably what y'all are oh, wondering. A lot of y'all are probably wondering, like, Ellie, why are you awake at 7 a.m. if you never do that? It's not a pleasant reason. <laughs> it surely doesn't feel pleasant. But the reality is, the reality is that I, I couldn't sleep the entire night. Yesterday, I fell asleep around 8 or 9 p.m. Just wanted to take a little nap because I was so exhausted. Was I actually, you were about to just, like, snooze on the couch. And I was like, hey, let's just go lay in bed and let's just... Let's just snap for like 30 minutes. And, and, and I was tired. And I don't and, nap for 30 And studies minutes. show that people who are emotionally connected. Chemically bonded is what the TikTok said. Chemically bonded because when you're with your person, you get a release of dopamine and serotonin, which will make you sleepy. Yeah. And so I'm chemically bonded to this beautiful right here. And so it makes me so very sleepy. And anyways, I fell asleep for like half an hour and I felt good to go. But then the only problem is when it became bedtime i was unable to fall asleep and so i tried all throughout the night to fall asleep different times but it just wouldn't happen i've been telling and him since three o'clock i was like this isn't gonna happen you might as well just find something productive to do like <laughs> that's what i do like it's not gonna work does that ever happen to y'all do you guys have any of you ever experienced where you're actually sleepy tired you're mentally exhausted you're fatigued worn down you want nothing more than just to just get some shut eye go to sleep wake up however many hours later but no matter how hard you try you just cannot fall asleep for some reason i know you've been there many times oh. it's like a really Did you get that like tired headache yeah well i, well, I mean i don't really get headaches but well, all i know is that this doesn't happen to me much so for it to be happening right now it's like a really Odd. i would say a really weary feeling because i almost feel like like I'm, I'm blessed and I'm grateful for all that we have. We got beautiful farm animals. We got our kitty cats. I got my beautiful right here. I'm healthy. I'm healthy and I'm happy. So I have a lot to be blessed and thankful for. But I just feel like a tinge of sadness coming over me <laughs> is the best way I can explain it. Does my face look sad? Like I'm trying to <laughs> talk no, reason. I think you look. I mean, you definitely got like some droopiness and some bags, you know. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel a tinge of sadness coming over me. I mean, it's and there's nothing. To me there's before. nothing. There's nothing to be sad about. But I, I, just, I think I'm just so sad that I'm so tired, but I can't <laughs> sleep. Like, and I've seen you whenever, I've when, whenever, whenever you have those faces, you're almost to tears because you're just like, I want to go to sleep. Yeah, that right exactly. there, exactly. You guys, like, I just want to go to sleep. I took melatonin and I can't sleep. Yeah, any of you guys ever been there before? And it's almost like the crazy, the crazy part of it is almost that. And see, I'm getting that, and see, my brain is. I can't even remember what I was gonna say. You, I can, I, that's how you yeah. can tell something's off with me right now. <laughs> it's all right. It's it. You you know it happens. Yeah. We are having a standoff. I'm going to walk this way and see what's going on with the other animals. Let's go see what let's go see what our farm friends are up to. Oh, Annie Alpaca. Great. Those dang geese. I hope that the I hope the phone's not picking them up very good. Picking up. Hope it's, hope their sounds not getting picked up very good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yep. Thank you. Keep it going. 
Police. Thank you. <laughs> At your good, service. Good job, Levy. Hi, Annie. Good morning. Oh, that's a very pleasant morning face. It was very pleasant. I can't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> it was something about the whole sleep thing or whatever. Something about your mind racing, Kate. Yeah, that, that's, what, that's what it is. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Is that the reason I couldn't sleep, thank you, Levy, you remembered for me, is that I don't know, I, I felt like my mind was just racing 100 miles an hour just at lightning speed thinking about anything and everything not that there's necessarily any problems but my mind is just, just going crazy in all directions and i could not get it to slow down or kind of shut off for a little bit or anything like that i guess to fall asleep you kind of have to be in sort of a limbo state of mind have a little bit of peace and quiet and a little bit of stillness in your life if you will and my mind just could not get still no matter how hard i tried and i don't i don't know why i don't know why that was happening so i figured if i can't sleep i might as well come out here maybe maybe make a video maybe just do some stuff and hopefully then i'll start to get a little bit tired my mind will start to slow down a little bit so that's what i'm doing right now i'm out here and this is this the craziest thing the whole phenomena of being so sleepy yet unable to sleep I feel sorry for anybody out there who might experience that frequently or anybody who has insomnia or anything like that. I know that I've seen like different celebrities and stuff like that I know who suffer from insomnia kind of like on like a cool facts or like a did you know thing and it's interesting but I feel really genuinely sad for somebody if they have to struggle with that frequently. I wonder if it's something that you just get used to or if it is just a lifelong struggle because the tinge of sadness that i feel over me it sounds so ridiculous i can smile and i can laugh but it, i don't like it this doesn't feel good this is not something that i want to replicate i do not want this to happen again if i can help it but you know it's bound to happen once in a while and it's all right i'm getting a good video out of it an interesting conversation to share uh-oh oh what the heck is this that's unbelievable right there guys so meg filling up the waters and she had it she's had the, the hose in the white bucket but obviously when the water fills up all the way to the top it's going to push the hose out and so it pushed the hose out of the bucket but instead of knocking it on the ground spraying in that direction like you would think somehow this water hose has developed a mind of its own decided to defy physics and basically stay upright like this <laughs> That right there is something interesting that I've noticed the few times that I have been awake kind of relatively early in the morning is that the donkeys tend to always be hanging out kind of in that area over there, the far side of the pond pasture. I never understood why. They don't really hang out over there a lot throughout the rest of the day, but there's been multiple times that I've been awake really early in the morning and I've seen them over there. So maybe it's their peace and quiet place to go early in the mornings, except <laughs> I'm a gene has Champ and Walter hanging out with her right now. So not sure exactly how peaceful and quiet that could be, but maybe she tolerates them. Maybe she puts up with their shenanigans because she loves them also very much. Maybe she's babysitting. We literally got old mama right here. You taking a break, old mama? Simon Jean babysitting for you. Sitting over here getting some, maybe it's, maybe it's your chance to get peace and quiet actually, having the babies being taken care of by somebody else for once yeah even though walter um walter's mom is over there carrie walter actually spends a lot more time with uh, champ and old mama than he does with his own mother and i also found that kind of funny it's kind of like i know some kids that growing up they basically would live at their friend's house more than their own house a lot of the time they would basically just have sleepovers every single night they would <laughs> they'd be half raised by their friend's parents sort of a thing i i had a few people like that i guess i knew in school and they're just kind of you know growing up with a bunch of family nearby you see things like that but i don't know it's all silliness all silly stuff yeah pond's getting low as you can see i mean you can see the um right there kind of i'll put my finger let me put my finger in 
like where my finger's at about it's where the water level used to be and you can see that it's dropped all the way down to right there and so we're hoping for some rain hoping that we can get some water we don't want it to be completely bone dry someday i hope it'll rain before that we've been praying that we'll um have some good healthy weather for our animals in the immediate future but alrighty guys with that said hope y'all enjoyed this video y'all be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you guys want to see i hope you all have an incredibly blessed day and as i always say your boy ellie out